Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to create this fan blade. We're going to be using a few techniques that I haven't shown you before but you may have seen elsewhere. So stick around and see how you do. So let's get started with this drawing. To start I'm just going to put in some reference geometry. So I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane and create a center diameter circle at 20 millimeters. So I'll type in 20, enter, there we go. Now that's just a bit of reference geometry. Um, when we're done, I will be extruding that. So let's finish sketch. And now we're going to use a coil tool. So if you go into top left create and down to coil, then we select the top plane. Now I'll just join that onto the origin. I'm going to go out to 20, enter, and now it's got a coil for us to look at. So I'm going to go to the right view. So that's part of a coil. So if you have a look here, I'm going to make this overall height 50. So that's part of a coil there and we can set the revolution. So after set it to 4, you can see it's um, coiling around like a spring. But for this one, I'm going to go to 0 0.2. So we've just got a slight curve. Um, over here the section position it's important this needs to be inside because we're going to be using the a piece of this geometry we're not actually using the shape we're just going to project the geometry from it and i'll make this one millimeter okay so now that's doesn't look like it now but that, that that'll be part of our fan blade i'm going to repeat that step go down to create coil And this time, we're going to go out to 100 millimeters. Go back into this side view. Again, we'll set the height to 50. And we'll set this to 0 0.2. If we had to change this to 4, for instance, I can't build it because it's too thick, so I'll change it to 1. You can see we're getting 4 revolutions there. So I'm just going to put that back to 0 0.2 and it's a new body, doesn't really matter. Reference geometry was inside. So that's what we're going to be using to project off of. Now we'll go to create sketch. Doesn't really matter what plane you select here. I'll show you why now. We have got this 3D sketch on. So that means you can but I basically draw a line in any plane. So now we'll go to create and project include, include 3D geometry. So with this selected, I can select these curves, which are 3D, they're not on one plane, they pass through multiple planes. So now you can see they've got the purple project line. Now if I turn these bodies off, we can see those lines are available to us. Now I'll select line tool and I can see it snaps nicely onto those, those endpoints there. We'll draw a line between the two of them and finish sketch. So I'm going to start by making all the fan blades and then extruding that up later. And then afterwards I'll put in a, a shaft and a keyway. But for now we're just going to work on this fan blade. Next we'll go to create form. So this kind of creates a, an object for us. It doesn't really have a thickness. So you'll see after we've created this we're going to use the thicken tool. So create loft. I'm going to loft between these two points. If I click on that, I can see it creates a nice surface. It follows that path nicely. Um, 
if you try it and you're going between these two points you'll see that it misses your lines there it's not quite right in this instance you can select the rails and you'll see it it sticks perfectly to to the lines that you've created I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and finish form now we've got this um, this form here you can see on the left it's got a it's different to the body in terms of um, this little symbol here now we need to give this a thickness so we'll go to create thicken and we just select this body I'm gonna leave that at two millimeters I'm happy with that now we've got a new body and it's turned off that body so that's what I want so this is starting to look like a fan blade what I'm going to do next is just uh, put on a fillet on these corners over here so I'll go fillet tool zoom in so I can access it and we're going to select that corner there and we'll repeat that step on the bottom and I'm going to make that 15 millimeters so now we can see that's looking like a fan blade let my computer catch up there we go so that's one fan blade but I need more than one to um, to finish the sketch so I'll go to create and pattern tool and it'll be a circular pattern so we'll select this body um, and the axis will be the circle here that's why I drew that in to start with so we'll be able to reference it so you'll see uh, you'll be able to click and multiply it as many times as you need obviously when you start adding a lot it's going to start um, kind of glitching out because it's got to process all of that I only want 10 though so I'm going to click OK but what you'll see now on the left hand side over here is we've got 10 separate bodies one for each of those blades and I don't want that I want this whole thing in one body now there's two ways to do that we could go to the combine tool select these and then select all these bodies as part of the tool bodies once you click OK it will join them together what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this center part up say join if you create a new body it will simply create an additional body so I'm going to go to join I'm going to send this up to 55 millimeters and make sure join operation is selected okay now I can see I've it's gotten rid of all those bodies for me and I've only got one body that consists of fan we've got this other body which is just the, the form we created and then these two bodies which are the curves that we use to project the 3d geometry so there's that looks pretty good but I want a shaft on this now so I'm gonna create a sketch on this top plane and center diameter circle I will draw that at 10 millimeters I think that's maybe a bit of a thick shaft but it'll do the job um, depending on your application anyway um, you can see it's, uh, it's black which means it's fully constrained next I'm going to make a little keyway over here so I'm going to use a rectangle tool zoom in a bit and that's gonna kind of go round about there um, so you can see once we extrude that all the way through it'll be a circle for the shaft and then a keyway on the edge but let's just dimension this so I'm gonna push D for dimension tool and I'm gonna make this two millimeters now I will make this also two millimeters
what I want now is I can see that this diameter is uh, 10 so it means the radius would be 5. I only want this keyway to be 1 millimeter deep. So I'm going to dimension this line to that center point and I'm going to make it 4 millimeters. So now it will be only 1 millimeter sticking past and then this line I'll dimension against the center point and make that one millimeter. So now I can see it's centered about this this plane and it's fully constrained. So we'll finish sketch. Then I'm going to go extrude. I'll select that. So all three of those closed objects, or not objects, all three of those, we'll drag it down and extent type will be all. So if we have a look at the bottom here, we can see that keyway and the shaft hole are all the way through. I don't know if the keyway would be all the way through in a real life application, but for the purpose of this drawing, it is suitable. And it's a cut operation. And that is one way to create a fan blade. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if there's anything uh, you'd like me to do. If you need any help with any of your drawings, you can get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com or just leave a comment in the comment section. Until next time, cheers.